Okay, let's let's take this uh, really interesting question of what to do about the fact that we only have 20% of the world's population on the Internet right now, and we have another 80% to go. I can tell you Google's chief Internet evangelist is very concerned about that because I feel like I have 5.3 billion people more to convert to get onto the net. How are we going to do that? Well, and the bottom line of all this is infrastructure. How do we provide infrastructure that will let everyone get onto the Internet what we can see in the last decade is that mobile access has been the most rapidly growing a uh, way of getting access to communication services, especially in areas where there have not been uh, any uh, underlying telecommunications capacity at all. Today, it's estimated that there are 3 billion people online, uh, 3 billion people with mobiles, and about 15% of those people with, uh, with mobiles are on the Internet or capable of accessing it. So I would say that the first uh, line of, of the objective here, of attack, is mobile access. The second thing that we need to do is to re-examine satellite communications as a tool for distributing access to Internet more globally. There are lots of places in the world where there's very, very little surface infrastructure, and there may, in fact, not be any cable infrastructure, undersea cable, for example, uh, that will link uh, that part of the world to the rest of the Internet. So that the tactic that I think is worth pursuing is to look at uh, either low or medium orbit satellites, which uh, might be, say, at 8,000 kilometers or so, which allows for about a 30 millisecond uh, you know, round trip uh, from the uh, surface up to the satellite and down. Uh, techniques like this, uh, including packet switching, will allow us to touch much more effectively parts of the world where there isn't any global infrastructure, or there isn't even any uh, domestic infrastructure, central parts of Africa, central parts of Latin America. Uh, the Pacific Islands all around the, uh, the Pacific are isolated from each other. They don't have cable terminations in most cases, and they need to, to use satellite communications to link themselves to each other and to the rest of the Internet. Today, um, the uh, attempt to get access by that means is expensive because typically uh, each uh, administration purchases access to Internet services by satellite on a point-to-point -point basis. I can see the possibilities of packet switches in the satellites allowing for much more effective shared access to much broader band facilities. So we have some technical opportunities to increase convenient access to the Internet, uh, a combination of uh, fiber systems where that's feasible, satellite-based communication for uh, wide uh, area access, and then local 802.11, Wi-Fi, WiMAX, and uh, GSM, and other kinds of um, you know, TDMA and CDMA services. All that combination needs to be implemented in a very open environment so that new applications and services can be introduced uh, that are relevant to the local populations.